Hello everyone. Welcome to this video where we'll explore the incredible world of Azure Test Plan Test Management Tool from Microsoft by presenting different features of this tools presented here. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Let's get started. Why use Azure Test Plan? Azure Test Plans is a powerful testing solution within the Azure DevOps suite offering several benefits for managing and executing tests across the software development lifecycle. Here are the key reasons to use Azure Test Plans. First point is comprehensive test management. Provides tools to create, organize, and manage test cases, test suites, and configurations. Supports both manual and exploratory testing, making it versatile for various testing needs. Second point is seamless integration. Integrates with other Azure DevOps services, boards, pipelines, repos, and external tools. Enables automated testing as part of continuous integration, continuous deployment, CI-CD pipelines. Third point is exploratory testing. Offers exploratory test sessions that allow testers to find defects quickly without predefined test scripts. Captures rich data like screenshots, videos, and notes to assist in defect reporting. Now let's talk about test configuration and compatibility. Allows running tests across multiple configurations, for example, OS browsers, devices. Ensures applications are thoroughly tested for compatibility. The point number five is real-time reporting and analytics. Provides detailed insights into testing progress, defect trends, and coverage metrics. Enables stakeholders to track quality and make informed decisions. The next point is flexibility in test execution. Supports both manual execution for non-automated scenarios and integration with automated test frameworks like Selenium, JUnit, and NUnit. Allows distributed teams to collaborate effectively and execute tests concurrently. The seventh point is user-friendly interface. Intuitive and easy to use interface for managing test cases, assigning testers, and monitoring progress. And finally, cost-effective, offers a pay-as-you-go model, making it accessible for small to large-scale projects, eliminates the need for separate test management tools. Azure Test Plans is ideal for organizations looking for an integrated testing solution that enhances collaboration, streamlines test management, and improves software quality within the DevOps lifecycle. Now I give you a brief history of Azure Test Plan. The evolution of Azure Test Plans is tied to Microsoft's journey of transitioning its development tools and practices into a cloud-first integrated DevOps platform. Here's an overview of how Azure Test Plans has evolved over the years. Early beginnings with Team Foundation Server, TFS. Between 2005-2018. Microsoft's Team Foundation Server, TFS, was introduced as an on-premises solution for managing software development lifecycle, SDLC, including source control, build automation, and work tracking. TFS included Microsoft Test Manager, MTM, for managing manual and automated tests, which served as a precursor to Azure Test Plans. After that, transition to the cloud with Visual Studio Online. Between 2013-2018, Microsoft began offering a cloud-based alternative to TFS called Visual Studio Online, which later became Visual Studio Team Services, VSTS. VSTS included testing capabilities similar to MTM, focusing on improving scalability and cloud access for distributed teams. Birth of Azure DevOps. From 2018, Microsoft rebranded VSTS to Azure DevOps introducing it as a modular suite of services, including Azure boards, repos, pipelines, artifacts, and test plans. Azure Test Plans was introduced as a standalone service, offering a modern web-based interface for manual and exploratory testing. Enhanced features for modern DevOps practices. A few key developments. First key is integration with Azure pipelines for automated testing and CI-CD workflows. Second key is introduction of exploratory testing extensions, enabling testers to conduct unscripted testing with rich data capture. 
third key is built-in analytics and dashboards for tracking test coverage, pass rates, and defect trends. And last one is expanding ecosystem integration. Finally, a current state post-2020. Focus on DevOps best practices. Enhanced collaboration between developers, testers, and stakeholders through seamless integration with Azure boards and Git repositories. AI-powered insights. Introduction of intelligent recommendations and analytics to prioritize testing efforts. Improved usability. Continuous UI UX improvements for better user experience. Scalability. Tailored for organizations of all sizes from small teams to large enterprises. Key trends shaping Azure test plans. Increasing focus on shift left testing, enabling early defect detection in the development process. Enhanced support for cross-platform testing and multi-environment compatibility. Adoption of cloud-native testing tools and tighter integration with the broader Azure ecosystem. Expansion of AI and ML-based testing features like test case prioritization and failure analysis. Azure Test Plans has evolved from being a basic test management tool to a robust cloud-based solution for modern DevOps workflows, meeting the demands of agile and distributed teams. Here is a visual representation of Azure DevOps architecture with a focus on testing, showcasing the integration of Azure Test Plans with other key services. Azure Test Plans organizes testing efforts into a hierarchy and includes various entities to manage tests, link them with development tasks, and report progress. Below is the basic schema. Let's talk about hierarchical components. Test Plans 8S, a container for all the test suites and configurations related to a specific release or sprint. Now attributes of Test Plan. Name, description, iteration path, linked to Azure boards for sprint or release planning. Area path linked to features or modules under test. Now let's present test suites, logical groupings of test cases within a test plan. There are several type, static suite, manually added test cases, requirement-based suite, dynamically linked to work items, for example, user stories, features, query-based suite, populated using a query, for example, all test cases matching specific tags, few attributes of test suite, name, description, parent test plan or test suite, Let's reveal the essence now, test cases. It's individual testing scenarios with steps, expected outcomes, and results. An attribute are title assigned to priority, automation status, manual automated, parameters for data-driven testing, test steps, action, and expected result for each step. For test configurations, specifies environments for executing tests, such as OS, browser, device type, etc. Finally, test runs and results. First test runs, execution instances of a test suite or individual test cases. Attributes OT test runs are test plan, test suite, test cases, status, for example, not run, passed, failed, blocked, results with attachments like logs, screenshots. The second is results of test, that means status of execution, eight attachments, screenshots. Before I forget, let's finish with relationships and links or with another word, work item integration test cases linked to user stories, features, or bugs in Azure boards. And also requirement-based test suites automatically pull test cases linked to specific work items. Azure Test Plans offers powerful tools for driving quality and collaboration throughout the development process. This browser-based test management solution supports planned manual testing user acceptance testing, exploratory testing, and stakeholder feedback. Test case, a simple view, you can see a few attributes of test case. Test case, a simple view, you can see a few attributes of test case.
That brings us to the end of our journey into Azure Test Plan Tool. We've covered its powerful features, practical use cases, and how it can transform your test management process. I hope this video has given you a clear understanding of how this tool can empower your team to work smarter and achieve more. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more insightful content like this. Also, feel free to share your thoughts or questions in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you.